Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 48 of our RimWorld Alpha 16 Zippy's Folly Let's Play. When we last left off, it was the second of winter, and the pawns of Zippy's Folly are getting messages that we can't even see. What was that message? Mayor died. Well, I don't, you know, does that really change anything for me? I don't think it does. But it is a good reminder that I could call for a traitor. See if they want to send somebody over. I don't think that affected our relationships or anything. Across the trade caravan. Well, it's got to be exotic goods. And uh, don't go too far, Julian, because you're going to call the Great Crag Treaty. Across the trade caravan from them as well. We'll go with bulk goods this time. Okay, good. Disconnect. And let's see how we're doing on all of our resources. We're doing all right on silver. Medicine is an important resource to monitor as well. We've got three Glitter World Medicine for when we need it. Doing pretty good on... Uh, Plasteel, so let's queue up some of those uh, some of those valuable racks that bring in so much money for our colony. Make sure that we have the correct builders set up. Good, that's fine. These guys can all build without any problems. I'm not too worried. I don't need to have that running. Not that it, we really need to save electricity or anything, but. Just an unnecessary use there. Um, these guys are going to, of course, try to drag weapons over here. And nobody wants to come and uninstall these. Until they fill them up with weapons first. Ah, you guys need hauling practice, right? Do I, I don't have this set to... This is all set to low priority. I still don't understand why they aren't using the weapons racks that we've got set up outside. Oh, yeah, so many let me know that our melee thing is not set to 51%, and that's why our pawns were wearing raggedy clothing. So thanks, many. I, I should have known better. I feel kind of dumb for not knowing better. But I don't blame you for that. I appreciate you helping me out, even though your namesake died through, I would say, at least modest negligence on my part. Definitely could have avoided the death of your pawn. But no point in worrying about that now. Hmm. Plenty of eggs down here. No, nope, just the eggs. Why are you... There we go. So I'm not too concerned about that. Th those three. So we have a dozen eggs waiting to be hatched. Zippy is rolling up them joints. Bunch of racks ready for trade. Breakup. Oh, Nick and Erasmo. Um, now, weren't you... Uh, uh, no, you weren't having an affair. Nick, you rescued Erasmo. So you were already married. And then you had an affair. And now... Oh. Well, you've uh, been married quite a bit there, Nick. Broke out. Now, how... Wait a minute. If you had... Rescued Erasmo, and Erasmo was your husband, but you'd been married to Akai before Akai died. That's what I get for not paying attention to the story thing. There certainly has to have been something. I must not be remembering it correctly. Uh, you don't seem all that torn up. Are you a sociopath or something? No? Why are you not torn up by that divorce? Erasmo? Are you torn up by your divorce? Mm, you are definitely, uh, well, yeah, I love how you have an opinion of your lover, Julian, and you're upset that you were divorced by your wife. Um, logical. Actually, you know what? That doesn't sound logically inconsistent, to be honest. That sounds about right. That's why I do not get involved in affairs of the heart. There's too much confusion and illogic, logical inconsistency there. Oh, I should set up, um, I definitely need to set up uh, specific bills. Many got me thinking uh, that I should probably remove cotton from, or cloth from all of the bills on these mid levels like this. Well, see that one, we want to do wool for sure. And then here we want to do 
anything but Devil Strand or Wool. But I should remove cloth from this, so then we'll use any kind of leather next, and then we'll use the uh, then we'll use the uh, cloth as the very last option there. So I ought to set that up. But I'll do that between episodes, so you guys don't have to have to sit through that. It's kind of tedious. What is this here? Unfinished armor vest. Okay, well that's fine. Probably want to finish an armor vest. Drilling going on here. Making progress towards that next lump. Probably want to haul these somewhere. There we go. All hauled away. Kind of like how that looks now. Kind of funny with that. We still haven't really been able to take advantage of that, though. I don't know that we're going to, because most of the raiders are going to come along here. So probably ought to open up this area here. We want to use that for, uh, you know, fighting or whatever. Now, it's funny that these little trees are growing in between the big trees. I wonder if they'll get to a high enough growth rate to where they actually produce any wood when we cut them down. Because when they plant new trees in there, they'll definitely cut those little trees down. Now, I probably shouldn't be keeping the, the leftover wheat inside here where the animals can eat it. Probably be smarter to keep it in uh, just a generalized storage zone where the animals are not going to eat it. Uh, it lasts a long time, right? Frozen won't spoil. And uh, <laughs> when it popped up to being not frozen, it said eight, nine years. So um, I think I'll set up a storage zone. I mean, even right here will work because it's right near the kitchen. I'm sure it's ugly, but, you know, whatever. So, as a matter of fact, we don't even need to store you in there at all. Nor do we need to store you in there. Nor, I think this is going to be the other spot that we had set up for that. Nor in there. Let's copy, delete, paste. All right, there we go. So there's our new hay storage area. Once spring comes around, we'll plant some more hay. I could get this new growing area going. Although I think I was going to try to find try to find another growing area up here. I don't think I can get one up here. Maybe maybe right in there. I really would be blocking off this whole area. If I put one here, maybe I could add on to those uh, solar panels there. Oh, winter just started, so it's not like I can plan out based on the uh, floor stuff. Well, if I build this here, I can build a wall here and then eliminate this little area here. So you know what? Let's start doing that. We're going to go sandstone still. Not really rich on any of these. Uh... Oh, now where are you getting go juice from, Julian? How, like, I I shouldn't even have any on hand. I don't. So how are you binging on go juice? Probably just freaking out because you can't find any. You're going to uh, steal it from one of these raiders that are, uh, that are attacking? Well, it's too bad you're not going to... I guess you're a pacifist, so it doesn't matter whether you're going to be any help or not for this raid. Um, let's see what's going on uh, with these raiders here in just a moment. Boy, I just about choked there. So excited to, mm, excuse me, so excited to look at these raiders. That is not much of a band of raiders. I'm not really concerned about them. So we've got four, seven, ten raiders. So they outnumber us, but not terribly badly. They're going to be coming from down here. Well, we fought them off from down there before. Didn't really run into any problems. Let's uh, get everybody down here again. Matter of fact, Nick, we'll have you go there. Erasmo, have you go there and uh, provide a little cover for Nick. Nick 
Nick might actually be able to go even a little further out to where he can start firing on them as they approach. The drawback, I guess, is that there's um, that swamp he has to cross. The one? Norberto, what's taking you so long? You must have been way far away. Okay. You're moving like you got a, a broken leg or something. Alright, Nick, anytime now you can start firing. Dead eye. Oh, too bad you're firing at somebody with a shield, but you know. I guess that's what you're gonna do. How about you fire at, whoops, who did I undraft? Norberto, come on back here, Norberto. I wanna be telling Nick I wanna micromanage his shooting. Shoot at somebody who doesn't have a shield on so you can maybe take them down. Oh, good job. One shot, Nick. Let's go for the grenade guy here because I think that'll throw them into a confused panic. Good job. Keep shooting at Carlos. Uh, looks like Yumiko is going to come up and try to fight back, though. All right. Shoot it, uh, Yumiko. Hmm. A couple of minor hits there. Oh. I don't like that. How, how, how much damage are you taking? Very minor damage. Get off one more shot, and then I'll have you... Uh, Oh, well, I'll have you keep shooting since Yumiko's running away. Ah! Pretty good chance of shooting these guys, though. Oh, not if they're that far away, though, I guess. Nick, why are you not... Um... That was weird. Maybe when you assign them to shoot somebody, they won't uh, just automatically pick up another target. Okay, now now you're going to run away. Oh. Shot in the back there at the last second. Come on, slowpoke raiders. I don't know if I want to unforbid that Yayo. Got our drug addict, Julian, wandering around up there hoping hoping to get into some trouble. Oh, he went to sleep. Never mind. No trouble for Julian. All right, Nick is going to start firing again, although wastefully at the guy with the uh, shield. Let's fire at Noodle. Yeah. Maybe he can actually do some damage. job. This is it a major break risk? Norberto, Norberto, why don't you go ahead and just do what you need to do to get out of your break risk? And we're going to just pick off these raiders one by one as they attack in the kind of dumbest way possible. Hmm, looks like Lee there is going to maybe get a good shot off onto Nick, though. Poor Wanderer. Still low. It's getting shot for some reason. But not able to shoot at anyone. Good job. Alright. Raiders are fleeing. Go ahead and undraft everybody. We don't need to don't need to take them down as they run away. Vernulf. You have lost a leg. That is a bad start. You're a good shooter. Good doctor. Good grower, too. I we actually, I don't know if we need another good grower or not. You can haul. We'd have to get you a leg. Legs aren't as hard to come by as they used to be. Um, we do have three growers. Two of them can st actually, I could use pulling Zippy off onto something else. Alright, let's go ahead. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go through the trouble of trying to uh, 
trying to recruit Bernie Elf. I'll give Erasmo something to do. We haven't captured anybody for a while. Flick those switches there. Well, that wasn't too bad. Picked up some uh, decent weapons out of it, it looks like. Actually, I don't want to strip those guys. Cancel. There you go. Okay, well, looks like decent weapons, but when you actually start clicking on them, it turns out they're not so decent. Normal survival rifle. Mm hmm. Labrador Retrievers join. Yeah. I think we will probably just uh, go ahead and eat those guys, actually. Animals. Oh boy, lots of animals. A bunch of labs joined up, too. Why don't you come to the home area and get butchered? Great. Oh, I say, how did a rooster end up being pregnant? That's because it's not, it's a hen. Or, I mean, a uh, boom rat. All right, I know those are over there. Good. And Bernulf, what do you got going on here? Prisoner, 98%. Shoot. Well, now I've captured him. I'm going to have to uh, try to do surgery on him. Although, he is still guilty, right? Where's the where's the guilty or innocent thing? Character. No, needs. No. So, does it not show the innocent or guilty thing? Capacitated neutral. Was I only seeing that because of, like, were people showing it because of dev mode or something? Hmm. And these were uh, pirates that attacked us, right? Because the only, we have, we have tribals that are hostile with us, but they uh, didn't attack us. All right. Well. I don't think I can really release you. So we're just going to go ahead and execute you. Get it over with. Now, just take care of... Uh, not assigned to... So what? Execution is a wardening uh, task? That's bizarre. Um, so we have Norberto, Julian, and Zippy. So we have plenty of people that can do any healing that needs to be done. How are these guys? It looks like they're all... Uh, all have been healed up properly. Uh, so... All right. Well, well, somebody will come and kill Burn Gelf off there. Actually, why don't you take care of that now? Because I don't want to. I don't want him to end up being not guilty. All right. So um, someone was executed. Minus five. <laughs> All right. Well, you know. I guess that's gonna happen. Nobody's, nobody's hurrying over to start building our uh, new building there. Oh, looks like we've got some new chicks born. Chick, chick, chick. Uh, the up arrow is a male. Rooster, rooster, rooster. Hen. Very good. Get those guys where they belong. Let's see how the temperature is holding up over here. It's like too low. I think I'm going to move these uh, move the heater. Nope, that's not how you do it. There's how you move the heater, just like that. And then we're going to make a copy and we'll put another one right there. We can heat up the central room and that'll heat up the side rooms as well. We don't really need to keep them that high. Oh, laboratory. Did we already... Uh... Oops. There's a lot of stuff going on here. There's our traders showing up already killed off those labs, right? Why are they not in our freezer yet? Maybe they haven't uh, made their way up to their death. Well, no, because they weren't showing up in the uh, weren't showing up in the pet thing. Huh. Uh, maybe we've already chopped them up and made them into meals, fine meals, for our enjoyment. I don't know, but 
right now we have these traders coming that we called for a while back. There we go, there's that trader. And I think it said that the other one is in the other direction. There they are, coming across the swamp any moment now. If we speed the clock up, they'll get here faster. Maybe. Maybe not. There's one trader right down there, and Julian. It's like Julian's standing there waiting for him to show up. But now he's walking away. So I guess he didn't wait very well. Go trade with those ones there, Julian. Erasmo, I'm going to pull you out of bed here as soon as these guys get uh, close enough to the area. There we go. All right, what do we got? We could be selling these chicks. Pretty good price, 20, 20 bucks, but I guess they're worth almost $50 if we wait for them to be full grown. So let's wait for them to be full grown. Uh, I don't really need any wild boars. Those are good animals, so they haul and all that. Um, I could buy a old alpaca. Probably won't have any babies, so I'm not going to do that. Although it is full priced, so maybe it is still capable of having babies. I'm still not going to buy it, though. I could get some more Labrador Retriever meat, since we ate all up the Labrador Retriever meat we already had pretty quickly, but I won't. Um, always buy components. <laughs> do I want to make a bunch of rat leather clothing? I don't think I do, uh, but I will sell uh, 29. How about I sell minus 29, there you go, of the smoke leaf joints. Um, well, good traders don't carry very much steel like they used to. Uh, uh, somebody commented on that, and you are correct. Diego, I believe, is who mentioned that. If I remember, I'm sorry, I don't remember those things very well, so if I got that wrong, I apologize. Uh, a bunch of junky clothes to get rid of. We can get rid of all those junky clothes. Um, no, I guess that's all of them. The rest of these things are fine. We're going to get rid of that superior duster. Poor cowboy hats. Don't need to keep those around. Or poor cloth toques. Really, any cloth toques. I'm not quite sure why we have those. Parkas, also not sure why we have them. Um, but that's what we have. Uh-huh. Yeah, the rest of these stuff I think we're going to hold on to. And um, we've already got too much money coming in, so I probably ought to... What am I selling that's bringing in so much money? I'm buying eight components. Does that not make up for it? So I need to buy something, quite a bit of something from them, apparently. Must be all this clothing. This clothing is really valuable. It's crazy. Um, you guys don't really have anything that I want, do you? I don't really want any Kevlar helmets. Do you not have no Glitter World Medicine? So that's a real shame. I could use that. I guess I could buy this rat leather and use it to make better quality clothing. I don't really need any food. Well, I guess the meat, I could buy the meat. It's all the same price, so it doesn't really matter which one I buy. Buy that monkey meat. I don't need to quite buy all of it, though. Or I could just not buy that, and I could just like not sell them all the stuff that I'm selling them because I have a, uh, I have another trader that's already here. So how about I just do that? Just zero out all these, and we're getting much closer. There we go. That'll that'll work. Aren't you glad you sat there and watched me do all that nonsense? Erasmo is coming down here into the garden, but then we're going to pull him away shortly to trade with that exotic goods trader. And then we'll get our money's worth. I'll take all of his cash as well. Hopefully he has something that I might want to buy. Not so far. Neutromine? I don't really need it, though. Always buy components. Glitter World Medicine? Nice. Two of them. Um, so I will sell you my smoke leaf joints. Pinoxycycline. You know what? I'll buy it. I don't necessarily need to. Maybe I don't want to. It is really expensive. I'd probably be better off just buying neutromine. Now, it takes three neutromines to make a pinoxycycline. Is that right? I could just look. Also, it takes labor. Also, money is cheap. So I don't... Oh, 
I do what I do need to do is wrap up this episode because that alarm means the episode is over with. So let's finish Bionic Eye. Two of them, huh? Well, we'll see if I can afford all this. I don't really, I don't think I need any lungs. Um, so what were we gonna do? Sell some of these uh, normal and damaged poor, uh, cloth clothings down here that I didn't necessarily want. I don't need that. We were gonna sell those. Don't wanna sell my personal shields. I don't need a poor cloth toque, that's for sure. The rest of that stuff we'll hold on to for now. Um, uh, those are things they're trying to sell me. They don't need to buy. So we got 4,000. Uh, so I can sell a bunch of these plastic equipment racks. We're getting closer. Almost there. Wow, we are still going to lose money. But we are going to get a couple of bionic eyes. Um, and uh, some Glitter World Medicine, so we'll be able to install it, and a bunch of Panoxycycline. Uh, so I would say that's a good, you know what? I don't need all that Panoxycycline. Yeah, we'll just hold off. It's not like it's hard to come by. Great, we're gonna accept that, and then we're gonna turn the speed down, and we're going to call that an episode. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you have, you should click the like button down below, and be sure to tell your friends that they should also watch um, leave a comment in the comment area if you have something to say. Why don't you say it? Come on, big guy. You think you're so tough? Um, yeah, so leave a comment in the comment area. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.